Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good fill one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. What's going on, man? Good fellow sports TV. We up in here doing what we do, man. Up early. Um, I just shot that foreman video, so that's going to go up after this, though, man. Uh, we at the park, me and Miles getting it in, man. But I appreciate everybody for rocking out with us, man. Blessings to you guys out there for supporting the channel. And I'm uh, working on some other platforms, man, so you can view the uh, channel on as well. We'll continue YouTube. But uh, like I said, when I work on, when I finish, uh, you know, with the channel art and working on learning the rules and regulations to the other channel, uh, I'll let you guys know so you can support me on that platform. It's kind of like a contingency plan to YouTube, man. But, um, yeah, man, uh, apparently Amir Khan got a confidence boost because Terrence Bud Crawford asked for a rematch clause. And he said that gave him a confidence boost. And I'm going to tell you that might be a bad thing for Amir Khan. And we're going to talk about, uh, you know, you know, history, a little bit of history of rematch clauses and why uh, Terrence Crawford asked for one. But um, other than that, man, also we're going to talk about uh, – Amir Khan's excuse for why the Samuel Vargas uh, fight didn't go as planned. And um, like I said before, it kind of goes hand in hand with my reasoning behind why I think this confidence boost from Amir Khan has really, uh, you know, it's really maybe a bad thing. And, and then we're going to talk about at the end of the video, we're going to talk about uh, how Amir Khan has really carried this promotions. And Bud Crawford really ain't upheld his side of the story, uh, his side of the uh, promotional on this fight, or even Bo Mack hadn't really promoted this fight like that. He boasted a couple times. But, hey, let's get it in, man. And the reason why, you know, Amir Khan is his – the reason why I don't like the, another confidence boost for Amir Khan, because when he starts to get confident, he starts to get cocky, man. Real talk, he really starts to get cocky. He really starts to, to lose his rocker. And when when he starts feeling himself, he starts heating up and start to go unconscious. <laughs> you get it? Unconscious. In the ring, it kind of like your your equivalent of, of getting hot on the basketball court or being in the zone on the on the football field, the American football field. Cause we don't do that soccer shit. Um, you know, you know, you know. Sometimes you feel like you can't miss, but in boxing, all it do is take one mistake and you hit you can hit a a, a grand slam and a knife in it, and you can win the game. You know, you can win the whole game. So with Amir Khan, if he if he continue to build confidence, he go out there. And get reckless and start going in three, start going four, five, six in his combinations. He can easily, he can easily take take an L. You know what I'm saying? Easily, he can easily get caught, and get knocked out. Bud Crawford, he can punch with you and be an accurate counter puncher. You ain't got to be the biggest puncher when you cut catch somebody when they off guard, when their muscles are relaxed to knock them out. And that's what I was trying to explain about a couple fighters before. But with Amir Khan, you know, the more confidence he get. It becomes it comes most times it, be, it, it translates or it manifests into arrogance. And when that happened, Amir Khan is in danger. You know what I'm saying? He's in danger. He'd go out there and blow his load. Amir Khan is similar to Keith Thurman. They strong for the first half of the fight, but at the tail end, all they really trying to do is still around the two. And um and then, you know, they still are trying to still around the two and just make it to the finish line if they don't stop you, hurt you, drop you, or something like that. So they don't have a lot of energy going on the back half of it. Bud Crawford gets stronger as the fight goes on. In the beginning of the fight, the, the fight may not go Bud Crawford way. But he he's mentally strong. He can make adjustments. And I, and I believe that um, it's going to be a tough fight for Amir Khan. Now, but the new, there's new confidence from him because of a rematch clause. I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. And I think he's going to really go out there and think shit sweet, think this dude is a small welterweight, think this dude can't punch, don't respect his power. And he's going to find out real soon, soon as he overstep his boundaries and go and go uh, unconscious with four, five, six in the combination, he's going to get caught. And when he get caught, we're going to know, we're going to see London Bridges falling down. And then his excuse for the Samuel Vargas fight real quick, his excuse, his excuse was, uh, his excuse was, uh, that um, you know, he just took him lightly. You know, he said I took him lightly. I didn't train hard for him. Uh, he's I did train hard, but I just took him lightly after that knockdown. Um, you know, I did, I just you know, you know, I just didn't take him. I didn't take him serious no more. You know what I'm saying? And then I got caught. But that's his problem. Going back, 
to, to the root of the cause, his arrogance, his confidence becomes arrogance. You know what I'm saying? And when that happens in the boxing ring, you can get knocked out. And that's something that he's never able, really been to, able to control. You know what I'm saying? That's something that he's really never been able to write in his career. No matter what he said, I got knocked out by Can uh, Canelo, knocked out by Danny, knocked out by Prescott. He's never really lacked confidence. And I think that's what makes Amir Khan the fighter he is. And that's a strength. And as a, as a weakness, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a double-edged sword. That's what makes Amir Khan Amir Khan. But that's the reason why it stops him from being great as well, too. Because he don't have great defense. And he don't move his head and make and make boxing moves, you know, from a defensive uh, standpoint. His best defense is his offense and his legs and his, his, with his mobility in his legs. He don't bend at the waist. He don't bend at the hip. He not slick. He don't slip shots or nothing like that. He put the high guard on him, stands straight up and down like a broom, and he's able to get tagged like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's just something that you got to look at with Amir Khan. You know, that's something you got to look at with him. And and that's just that's just what it is with him. That's it. You know, he's never been able to fix that. But you know what? That's what makes him the fighter he is. He's a throwback fighter, in my opinion, one of the very few. Get knocked out, get back up. He don't let a loss deter him, hurt him, mentally, you know, sting him. He able to go home, rejuvenate, adjust, and get back in the ring and do what he got to do. You know what I'm saying? And that's the good thing about Amir Khan. He's probably the number one throwback fighter in this era, you know, at this point. And uh, he fight anybody, anytime, anyplace, anywhere. So you got to give him credit on that one. And then again, he been carrying this promotion. It seemed like they called him up to start selling the fight because Bud just don't feel the need to talk and sell the fight. He don't want to sell the fight. He don't say much. Even his interview with Kevin Ayoli was really good, but he's not comfortable. You know, he's not comfortable in the role of, of promotion, in the role of he just reserved, cool. And, you know, obviously he takes shit. He said he hold grudges, you can tell. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Like I said before, that's a female trait to hold on to shit, not be able to take a straight up to criticism. But that's what makes Bud who he is. That's what fuels him to be the fighter that he is. You know, but at the end of the day, this is why he ain't a pay-per-view worthy. It's more, it's the business, and the business is getting in that ring and fight. Real talk. The business, the show, is in the ring as well, but the show is how you build the fight up. That's the show. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Terrence Crawford ain't got the show. Not until he get in the ring and start boxing, but then again, he not one of them dudes that's just going to buzzsaw you like a Mike Tyson. He ain't going to beat you down and knock you out like a Deontay Wilder. So then people don't want to see nobody get boxed and played with for 12 rounds and then you stop them late. They want to see a highlight reel knockout. But that's the reason, no matter what network behind him, ESPN, his own PBC, he going to be in neutral his whole career because he don't have no personality. That's why the reason Danny Garcia is the biggest star he is is for the simple fact he got a big city behind him for the most part, Philly, and his daddy do all the talking. You know? But for um, but for uh, for Terrence Crawford, Bo Mack do some talking. But like I said, no matter what network behind you, if you don't have no personality, you don't have no pool, you don't have no pizzazz, you ain't speaking, you ain't you ain't engaging people, you ain't gonna be shit as a boxer, especially in this era. This generation and the young kids and the youth you need to target and the teenagers you need to target, they want controversy. They want substance other than the fight. This is everything is built off controversy in this country. They want controversy and Terrence Crawford don't give you none. Even after the post-fight interview is, uh, yeah, but, you know, I might want to, I mean, he'll never be a big star. I'm sorry to say it, but it never happened, you know? It'll never happen. He don't have no push. He don't have no support from his promotional company, no push from behind him. They ain't done shit for this pay-per-view. They just started promoting it this, uh, this week, two weeks out. And then again, he got the most boring personality out there with no promotional push, you know? And Amir Khan is clearly carrying this pay-per-view. But people in America, casual people ain't seen Amir Khan since he got stretched by Canelo. So really, he a distant memory. And then again, he doing all this shit through the press. Press releases, it's interviews and manuscripts. Niggas don't read that shit no more. That old media shit is dead. People want to see you vlogging. People want to see you go on Instagram and talk shit. People want to see you and back and forth on Instagram going back and forth with Bud on a live or something like that. Like I said, this is one of the reasons this, this pay-per-view is already a failure, man. Big failure. This dude ain't pay-per-view material, neither one of them. But, hey, it's my personal opinion. Good fellow Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for showing love, checking in. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email. If you got a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or video request, 
All those links in the description. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, thehellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow on Boxing gets you 18% off the 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair pomade, much, much more. Get the 18% off with the promo code. All that stuff is in the description. Check them out. Appreciate everybody for sharing the videos, man, and supporting the channel. One time for the one time. We gone.